Hey there and welcome back to another Dump and Grow crock pot video. I hope you guys all enjoy this one and get some meal inspiration. This is kind of bittersweet because this is actually the last video I am filming in this kitchen which is kind of, I don't know, I'll, I'll definitely miss this kitchen but I hope you guys all enjoy this video and if you are new here I'd love to have you so go ahead and subscribe down below the video but let's get to cooking. To get us started off, we're going to be making some Mississippi pot roast. So to begin, in my crock pot, I'm just adding my three pound chuck roast. If you've never had Mississippi pot roast before, I think you should give this a try. I really do think you'll like it. But right on top of my roast, I'm just adding a fourth a cup of sliced butter. And then directly on top of that, I'm just adding this one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. This is just the dry mix. And then directly on top of that, you're gonna be wanting to add one packet of the ranch dressing mix. This type of stuff, I didn't have a packet for them. I just had this big container, so I just added about a tablespoon of that. And now you're gonna be wanting to add about eight pepperoncinis. I only had the sliced pepperoncini, so I just added about a fourth a cup of those. And I did drizzle on some of the liquid in there. You're just gonna put the lid on and cook this on low for about eight hours. Here is my plate. If you want to, for the last four hours of cooking, you could add potatoes and carrots and onions in there and they will cook alongside of that. I just didn't have time to do that on this night. I just served mine with some brown rice and some of these Sister Schubert's rolls and broccoli. This meal was delicious. Now we're making some crock pot cracked out chicken. This is one of those comfort food types of meals. This is my opinion, of course, but I think this is comfort food. Anyways, to my crock pot, I just sprayed it with some nonstick spray, and then I added two medium-sized chicken breasts in there with a half a cup of some chicken broth. And directly on top of that, I'm just adding one packet of some cream cheese. I did cube this cream cheese just so it melts down a little bit better. And now I'm just adding a couple tablespoons of this ranch seasoning mix and that's seriously it. You're just going to put your lid on and cook this on low for about six hours. Here we are about six hours later and our chicken reached the internal temperature of 165 degrees. I'm just shredding up the chicken to the best of my ability with my little meat matcher right here. You could shred it up with two forks or an electric mixer, just whatever you like to shred your chicken with. Then I added one cup of sharp cheddar cheese and I did cook up about seven pieces of bacon on the stove and then I crumbled it. So I added most of that bacon in there and now I'm just stirring this all together and I'm gonna cook this on low for an additional 20 minutes. Here is my dinner. I just served mine on a bed of white rice, but I've tried this with egg noodles or in a hamburger bun, and it's great anyway. I also served it with black pepper and parsley on top. This is an amazing dinner. Now we're making some slow cooker stew. This stew is actually called poor man stew. I thought the name of it was kind of funny, so I wanted to let you know. But anyways, to my saucepan, I added one pound of ground beef and I completely cooked this ground beef through. I did season it with some salt and pepper. And now I'm just absorbing all of the grease with a paper towel. I'm sure you already know, but this is my favorite way to absorb grease. But if you want to, while this ground beef was cooking, you could also add an onion in there to cook alongside of it. But we were having people over that didn't care for onions, so I just didn't add any onion in. Anyways, to the bottom of my crock pot, I added our ground beef in there, and now I'm just adding our four peeled and diced russet potatoes along with our five sticks of celery that I did chop into smaller pieces. And I'm also adding our three cloves of garlic. Over here to my two cups of beef broth, I'm just adding this six ounce can of tomato paste in there. And you're also going to want to start to season this up. So for our seasonings, I'm just adding some onion powder and oregano. I used about a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of oregano. You're also going to want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I'm just going to whisk this together to get that tomato paste incorporated into the beef broth. Now, this part is pretty self-explanatory, but to my crock pot, I just added our beef broth mixture that we just made up. 
And now I'm going to stir everything to combine. And I did realize at this point that I thought this recipe needed some extra liquid. So I added an additional cup of water to this recipe. And I do think it helped it in the end. I just think it made it a little bit better. But anyways, I just stirred everything together and then I cooked this on low for about seven hours. Our soup is completely cooked through at this point and to say that my house was smelling good is an actual understatement. Here is my big ball of soup. I just topped mine with some fresh parsley, salt, and pepper. This came out so, so good. I love this recipe because it is very budget friendly, but it is still super, super good. I absolutely love tortilla soup, so now that is what we're making. We're making some tortilla soup. So to the bottom of my crock pot, I have three medium-sized chicken breasts in there, and then I just added one packet of some taco seasoning mix along with one can of corn. This corn is not drained or rinsed. I'm also adding this can of diced up tomatoes. Now you're going to be adding some enchilada sauce. You're going to be adding about 11 ounces of that. To season this up, I'm just adding a little bit of some onion and garlic powder along with a half a teaspoon of some chili powder. You're also gonna be wanting to add in two cups of chicken broth along with some salt and pepper to taste. My camera actually did die around this point, so I slowed this scene up. I just added in one drained and rinsed can of Great Northern Beans and I cooked this on low for about eight to 10 hours. And here's the finished product. I'm just going to shred up my chicken with my shredder gadget. You could shred your chicken on a separate plate, but I didn't have much time on that night. Here is my soup. I just topped mine with some tortilla chips, cheese, and sour cream. I love this recipe because it is just so simple and easy, but it has a lot of flavor. Now I'm showing you how to make this crock pot lasagna. I love this recipe just because you can make this ahead of time and it's just so simple to make. But to my saucepan, I added a tablespoon of olive oil and I let that get hot. And then I added one diced up yellow onion and I'm going to cook this for about five minutes until this onion softens. Here we are about five minutes later. I'm just adding our four cloves of garlic in and I'm going to stir this garlic around for about 20 seconds until it becomes fragrant. And then I added in our pound of ground beef and I'm going to season this ground beef up with some Italian seasoning and salt and pepper. That's pretty much all the seasonings I used. You could also use some basil if you have basil. Now I'm just going to let this ground beef cook completely through. Now that I have my ground beef all cooked up, I did drain out all of the excess grease just with a paper towel. Now I just added in our three cups of marinara sauce. You could use any type of marinara sauce you like. I just used the great value stuff because it's pretty inexpensive. Anyways, I just brought this up to a simmer for about five minutes. To this separate bowl, I'm just adding our 16 ounces of some ricotta cheese along with our parsley. This is just about a fourth a cup of fresh parsley. Adding fresh basil would also be delicious, but my basil plant died, unfortunately. And then I just added about a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of some cottage cheese and a little bit of some salt and pepper. And you're going to mix this all together to combine. Over to my crock pot, I'm just spraying it with some avocado oil spray, and then I'm adding a cup of marinara sauce down on the bottom of my crock pot. This is just going to help make sure that nothing burns to the bottom of the crock pot. You're only going to add the layer of marinara sauce on the very bottom and on the very top. And then I'm adding a layer of lasagna noodles. These are uncooked lasagna noodles. They're your typical lasagna noodles. They are not oven ready or anything like that. And then 
I added a layer of ground beef, a layer of mozzarella cheese, a layer of our ricotta cheese, and I did this over and over again until I got to the top layer. For the top layer, I just added an additional cup of marinara sauce on the very top and then the rest of the ingredients to layer. I just placed my lid right on top of this and I cooked it on low for about four to five hours. And here is the finished result. I sprinkled some parsley flakes on top for color and this came out so, so good. I love making lasagna in the crock pot because I could go somewhere for a few hours and it is cooking and I have a meal when I get home, but this came out really good. I don't suggest cooking it for longer than five hours just because the noodles might overcook. And that is a wrap of this video today. I hope you guys got plenty of crock pot inspiration. Like I said before, this is the last time I'm filming in this kitchen. We are moving, so I'll miss this kitchen. I've created a lot of great food memories in here and family memories, but if you are new here, I'd love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.